Hey Facebook world. So I have just a few words of encouragement for you tonight. Uh, so I had a, I had a little bit of a rough day today. I, um, I was messing around with my blog last night and the blog, um, ended up, I put some wrong code in and the blog went down. And of course it was a day where I had opened up for people to be a part of the No More Perfect Marriages launch team to launch the book, which by the way, uh, head over to jillsavage.org if you want to learn more about that. But um, all of a sudden, nobody could get into my blog. Nobody could uh, join the launch team. Nobody, uh, we weren't even sure if we could get it back up. I mean, I really messed it up. So uh, I, this afternoon, did a Facebook Live over on my, on my uh, personal page, which you're welcome to go over. It's, it's also public. You don't have to be my friend to be able to see it. But um, talking about giving ourselves grace. And uh, I just needed that reminder um, today because I was kind of beating myself up for being a fool. But in the midst of this, um, as I was working with different people to try to get the website up, and um, you know, I would say I was getting to the place where I was starting to fret. And um, when we're fretting, we're worrying. And um, in the midst of all of that, God just hit me right between the eyes and uh, with, with something I heard years ago. And that is that worry is a worship of your circumstances. And man, I needed, I needed to be reminded of that truth because I was most definitely worshiping my circumstances. I was not worshiping the one that could do something about my circumstances. And so I knew um, that I had, to, I had to do something different with that. And so what I did is every single time that I would start to worry, I would use that as a prompt to pray. And so that's my encouragement tonight. I don't know what's weighing heavy on you. I don't know what you're struggling with in, inside and uh, what you're fretting over. Um, but I want to encourage you to use that worry as a prompt to pray. And uh, then that moves your eyes off of the mountain to the mountain mover. And uh, then we're able to truly worship the one that can do something about the mountain and uh, can also keep our head and our heart straight even in the midst of difficult circumstances. So if you're worrying, start praying. See ya.